Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the hex dump utility. I actually showed this off in a previous video, um, but I figured I'd give it its own video and kind of go through um, how I use hex dumps. But I'm also going to show you a bit of art that I made um, using a hex dump like utility. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so the hex dump commands, uh, if you do man hex dump, uh, is provided by the BSD utilities. If we search for that, uh, which hex dump? Uh, you'll see it's provided by BSD main utils on Ubuntu, uh, but it's it's probably there on whatever system you're working on because it's you know it's pretty common to install all of your your typical BSD uh, utilities there. Uh, but what hex dump allows you to do is it allows you to view the contents of some file or file like stream. Uh, and you know, look at the actual bytes that are present in that. So it allows you to it allows you to kind of zoom in on a file and look at its bytes. Um, whereas, like with cat, your uh, terminal might interpret it in various ways. So, like, um, let's do an example where we, I don't know, um, run pre-commit run flake eight dash dash all files. Uh, you'll see that we get a special output here where this is colored specially. Um, we're actually going to set color equals always. Um, and you might not know how that works. So the way that it works is there are actually special characters that are printed to the terminal. And we can view those special characters by piping this into hex dump. Uh, by default, hex dump um, you know, just shows you the various hex characters at each thing. I find that this form is not that useful. So I usually use hc. Uh, HD, sorry, instead of hex dump. And what HD does is it implies hex dump dash capital C. So if we look at dash capital C here, uh, calling the HD command implies this option. Um, and you know you can kind of see the output. This is kind of the ASCII display over here where you can kind of get a, a preview of what it looks like. Uh, now note in the ASCII display, the dot character is either a literal period or it represents an escape sequence. So in this case, uh, where is it? Uh, tweet, 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 tweet. This one B right here. Um, this is a. Or is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. It's gotta be that one. Uh, this is the you know special escape sequence that's represented by this dot here, um, which should be octal thirty three uh, in hex. Yeah, one B. So that's that's what this byte is here. So sometimes the ASCII display will be you know, maybe not exactly what you expect because it's uh, translated those escape sequences or the non-principal characters into a dot. Um, and if we do print, oh, we're already in Python 3, print, you know, that escape sequence, a bracket 42M, hello. And then again, we see that same es escape sequence down here. So we again see 1B. Uh, we'll, we'll actually use 1B for these. So that, you know, it's hex dump. We might as well use hex, right? Um, and you can see that's, that's how that special text is printed here. Uh, this also allows you to view binary files as well. So if we do HD, uh, I usually use little c, which uh, does one character display, uh, HD dash c, um, which kind of you know takes the ASCII stuff and puts it in line. So you can kind of, it makes it a lot easier to match up the actual bytes that are happening here. So you can see that, you know, the the escape sequence here that we saw. Uh, actually, why doesn't it line up properly? <laughs> It actually lines up with this byte here, so I don't, I don't know why it's, you know, a little bit askew there. Uh, maybe it has to do with my terminal width? No? I don't know. Anyway, um, I find I find dash C is a little, a little bit easier to match up where the characters are. Of course, you have to, like, they're offset here, weirdly, so I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's some better way to do this that I just don't know. Um, but I usually use little C here. Uh, but if we were to take like a binary file, so like for instance, bin echo, hd-c bin echo, uh, echo, uh, this is the, you know, binary contents of this file that's, you know, it makes it a little bit more readable what's going on here. Uh, you can see at the beginning you get that ELF header, which says it's an ELF binary. Uh, of course, most of this is most is, is pretty unreadable, but um, there are, sometimes you can see the string sections in here, like here we go, uh, written by percent %s. Which are just some of the some of the strings portion of that binary, uh, you know, shown directly. You can also grab the strings of a binary by doing strings. Is it strings? Uh, which tries to find ASCII-like strings that live inside the the binary, and so you can see like the help text is here. 
Uh, sometimes it's not the best. Sometimes you get things that are not ASCII, but you know, kind of kind of look like it just based on you know random random bytes that are in the program. Um, but strings is usually pretty good about pulling out ASCII stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's hex dump in HD. Uh, the last thing that I promised is I was going to show you some of my art. So I actually wrote a program that's similar to hex dump. However, instead of printing to the terminal, what it does is it builds art from it. So this is this is this project that I wrote called Color Code, and uh, well, actually I worked on it with with another person. So um, this was a joint project, but under under my GitHub for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, it was originally a hackathon project for at, at Yelp when I worked at Yelp. Um, this is actually one example of the output. This I don't remember what what this background is from, but the background is the output of an actual file that has been hex dumped. Uh, and this actually gives you some interesting, you know, um, insight into what programs look like. So this is this is a hex dump, but as colors, and so you can see, you know, some, kind of some color information here. Now, uh, this section, you can see there's a stark difference from up here and down here. This is actually the string section of the binary. So you can see, you know, you kind of get this dull muted colors. And this is because ASCII strings mostly fit into, you know, the lower, the lower byte ranges, you know, between like 30 and, you know, 60 or 30 and 90. Um, so you'll, you'll see kind of this muted colors wherever you'll see something like that. Um, and this is probably a, a program portion. Um, we also see another section of dull colors here. So this is probably another, you know, um, string section. But yeah, you can kind of get a, a visualization of what, what binaries look like. Uh, there's actually a really cool one in here, which is the pre-commit favicon. Now for this one, I have to zoom to a particular zoom level and adjust this over. Yeah, there we go. You can kind of see it here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so the, the pre-commit logo, just to show you. Uh, looks like this, so it's a P in a stops in a, a yield sign. Uh, but you'll you'll see the the favicon, which is the little icon that shows up in the tab here. Uh, this is the actual file for it, and it's been flipped, and so you kind of get kind of get a view of what the bitmap underneath looks like, and so you know the the colors actually line up pretty pretty nicely here. But anyway, I think this is kind of a a neat demo of this uh, color color code project. Anyway, that's HD and Hexdump. Hopefully, uh, I guess I also showed strings. Hopefully this was useful. Uh, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.